Good Saturday morning. I look like a vampire. It's Saturday morning and we have a long day ahead of us. We're having our smoothies really fast. It's been a hectic week because my website is launching tomorrow and today is the last day of work. Um, and we're gonna go to the shop now because I need to create a video for the release of the website. The website was gonna be released on the Friday, yesterday, but this didn't happen. So we changed it to Sunday and we've got to film a video which is gonna be like a go-to lunch video or some go-to lunches or something like that, which you probably have already seen. And the website is up if you're watching this video, so we'll link it. But um, yeah, we've got to film that video and then I've got to edit it and then I've got to just do all the final tweaks on the website. We were up really late last night doing all the work and it's just kind of like little things that you have to do that you don't think you have to do. You look at a website and you just think, oh, that's really simple. There's some blog posts, there's a, an about me page, there's a shop page and then, then, then that's it. And there's just so much that you have to do and loads of little hurdles and things you have to learn. But yeah, we're gonna go shopping to get the ingredients for today's video and get on with it. We're up really early and um, we're gonna try and get it all done this morning. So we thought we'd just vlog our hectic day. And then fingers crossed we'll, I'll get it done really fast so I can edit it and it can be ready to go and then I can just work on the website. Fingers crossed. I really hope that this all goes well. Alex has new glasses. They're not new. Oh. These are really old. Yeah. They have like a scratch on them, which kind of gets in the way. It's weird. But your other ones broke. My other ones, I was sitting on the sofa. I just pushed them up and the little nose pad just like fell off. Oh. It didn't even snap. I just... I'm sure you can get that fixed. Uh, yeah, I've emailed them. It's like they rusted away over the years. <laughs> but you look so different. I do. <laughs> do I look better or worse? I don't know. Just different. Not either. Mm. Are these more like these to reflect? These remind me of when I first started dating you. This is what you wore when I first met you, right? Or very yes. similar glasses. Uh, it's probably these ones, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. That was a black and white kitty. But where? He's gone now, but I filmed him. Oh. And he looked like a, a fat Zeus. <laughs> fat Zeus. <laughs> fat Zeus. So this is what we need to get. Let's get it. Successful trip. Yeah. <laughs> we managed to get everything we needed, including the bulgur wheat. I had a moment there where I didn't think they'd have bulgur wheat. We found it. It was, it was quite terrifying. <laughs> so, um, yeah, now we're gonna go home and get cooking. Also exciting news. Can you notice something different? Check out this lens. You can see our full um, home and everything like you can see the ends of my hair oh my gosh alex finally got a um what is it 10 to 18 millimeter lens for our vlogs for this camera so i'm so excited we've still got the g7x which is what we were using this morning but i just it's just so great because you can see everything even though i'm right up close so let me just compare so if i was vlogging right now on the g7x you can see the difference alex flicks between the two how much more you can see. So this, you can see everything around me. You can see my full body. This, you really can't see a lot around me. Yeah, the difference is incredible and it just works so much better. And I'm so pleased because look how much more you can see. Like, it's just so cool. Sorry about the mess in the room. Um, we've had a chaotic week. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for Alex. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's pooing. Um, but we're gonna get on with filming this video how cool is this so over i go you can like see everything even this kitchen oh my gosh look you can see our whole kitchen our teeny tiny kitchen Wee <laughs> look you can see our whole bedroom oh my god look you can see our bedroom that's so crazy this lens is going to be a lot of fun <laughs> Look how great this is for getting us both oh in. Oh my goodness. Um, we are halfway through cooking. We have so far, we've made the tabbouleh. But I barely need to move the camera to show you the lens is so wide. We made the tabbouleh, or tabula, however you say it. And the sweet potatoes are currently in the oven. 
Oh, and also, yeah, we made some hummus. Let me show them. We made some delicious hummus and also some, what we like to call guacamus or humole, um, which is gonna go in a sandwich in a bit. Now I'm just gonna be preparing some of the ingredients for the salad jar, which is gonna go in here. And then, yeah, we should be able to assemble everything together um, because it's kind of different this video because we're assembling it in like containers to show how you, how I take it to lunch or how you can take things to lunch. Mm -hmm. So, wow. Wow. yeah, well, lunch for work or school or anything. The <coughs> recipes are all nearly done. And at, what time is it? 12. And it's 12, which is good because everything's nearly done and we want it to be done for lunch and then you can eat, we can eat all of this food for lunch. Well, not all of it, but some of it. I'm so gutted. Because I adore tabbouleh, like it's literally one of my favourite things. But I thought bul bulgur wheat was gluten free. I thought for some reason in my head, I thought bulgur wheat's like a different type of wheat, kind of like, um, what was that thing the other day we realised that was? Oh, I know what you mean. You know the thing? Yeah. The, the chickpea the flour. The chickpea flour. I thought gram, it, gram, flour. gram flour. I thought it might be something like that, but um, obviously I wasn't thinking, obviously it's wheat. So I'm going to have to remake that, but with quinoa because it's so mm. good, but I will be able to have the salad jar, so yeah. And Alex is gonna have a sandwich, the, the guacamole sandwich. I'm so excited to eat this. It's also fresh and summery as well. It's perfect timing, I think, these recipes for like spring, summer. These are the sorts of things I have in spring, summer at work. Mm. Maybe I could do like a, a winter edition in the winter. Cause I think in the winter yeah. I'd probably take soup with me. Um, Something hot. Which you can definitely, like if you have a flask, like I know this is probably not ideal, but if you have a flask, <laughs> Technically, you could put soup in you here. Just, what, drink it? No, but you could. You could easily put soup in here and then pour it into a bowl when you get to work and it would stay hot. Well, not boiling hot, but um, anyway, I'm rambling. But how great is this lens? I can't get over it. It's a bit bright though, isn't it? But I just think it's so cool that we can be both in it like, woohoo! Is it so heavy? No. It's yeah. a, I'm getting used to it, I think. I think when you first do it, it's a bit like a shock. Yeah. And you're like, whoa, how could I ever hold this? But then you kind of get used to it. Super also, good. I'm making gains in the gym, so. Put your finger up to the lens. Ooh. Everything's done, and a jar successfully came into this beautiful salad, which I'm going to enjoy now. It's so wide. <laughs> I'm so mad because two of the recipes we made I can't eat because they've got gluten in them. And I really wanted to try this sandwich and also this delicious tabula. I want it so much. This is the aftermath. It's not that bad, actually. The, the jar. Mm. Nice and empty. And also I had to like rearrange everything in here and take everything off this little <laughs> stool to take some pictures against this back backdrop. I am dreaming and waiting. I love this flat and I'm very grateful for where we live, but um, my vision right now is when we m move in November, when, we, when the lease is up, is to move somewhere that has a second bedroom and a big kitchen. Maybe a pool. <laughs> but because of what we do, it's really hard to film in there, like just then doing like meal prep was so impossible, wasn't it? Because there's not space so for I it. I don't mind the space as much as I mind the light. Like the light today was especially bad. Yeah. Which means you have to fiddle with the camera settings. Yeah, it's very cramped. And also to have a space, like an office space, that could be also a spare bedroom that we could have, I could like set up a table by the window that could always be used for filming or to be taking pictures. Because often I'm having to like move stuff around and yeah, it's, mm. It's tricky, but... And then if you want to watch Outlander in the evening, <laughs> you can go in there and yeah. I can stay in here. Oh my God, I've got hooked on Outlander. We asked, I asked on Instagram what TV shows we should watch and everyone was like, there was a huge long list, but I, we picked Peaky Blinders and we watched one episode. But then I was like, I don't want to watch another episode right now. So I wanted to watch Outlander because it seemed more my thing. And Alex, Period. I think you went, didn't you go into the other Romance. room for the first episode or did you watch it? Uh, you were doing watch... something, you got food on your mouth. Oh, I watched In and Out of the first couple of episodes. Yeah, and Alex was busy, so I was like, I'm gonna put Outlander on, and now I'm obsessed. It's like the best show ever, it's so up my street. But I'm starving, I need to eat this salad. Alex says he's gonna go for a bike ride to have a little bit of a break and get some fresh air. And um, I'm gonna continue editing and try and get the main bulk done. I'm just really looking forward to Monday when this is all done. We've got an accountant meeting on Monday, and then when that's done, we can maybe try and spend the day off and go for dinner and celebrate and stuff. Oh, also, such good news. 
I managed to get my username on Instagram changed from Madeline Olivia with two A's to just Madeline Olivia. So I contacted the girl who had it and we came to an agreement and switched it and I'm so happy. I know it's like a one letter, but just to have your, if you've got a business or if you've got, you know, if you run the social media accounts, it's so much more helpful for your name to be the same across all places. And now I have, because I had to change my, I had to swap my Twitter name as well, right at the start. And um, somebody had Madeline Olivia and they weren't using their Twitter account, so I asked them. And we swapped back then and now I've done it again. And now, ah, uh, because I've been reaching out to her for a while, but I don't think she'd seen the messages. So I'm so happy and so thankful that she agreed. And yeah, um, it just means that I'm gonna have to now go change all of my links and stuff. Um, but it means that my Madeline Olivia isn't with some weird extra A on the end. And I did have a few people sort of saying to me, I can't find you on Instagram, what's your name? And getting a bit confused by it, so yay! It's made me happier than one letter should make me, but... You gonna take the GoPro? Yeah, I'm gonna take the GoPro. Where are you gonna go with the GoPro? Pro. GoPro, uh, Where should I go? I feel like I go the same place every time. I don't really care, I've got to get on. Oh. <laughs> I asked you the question and then I say I don't care. It's because I, ow! I do that a lot with you, I ask you questions and because you don't give me a solid answer immediately, I'm like, I'm not interested. I don't know, I'm getting, it's just because I'm a bit bored of the same route. Go on every, a different route then. Yeah, every time I cycle I'm like, I'd, I'd love to go for like a three hour bike ride and then I leave it too late. Mm. And well, here you should I wake am, up early. stuck here. Well last time I did do that, I just want to get out. Yeah. You know? I think I'll just go along the front and yeah, yeah. Fun. listen to a podcast. I, I just closed my eyes then and I literally could go to sleep right now. I'm so tired. You better not do that when I'm out. No, don't even <laughs> tempt me. Don't even say it. Otherwise I'll be tempted. Uh, right, I've got to get on with this edit. Okay. And you've got to get um, on with cycling. Yeah, see if I can... Whoa! Take the GoPro with me. Bye. See what exciting things we discover. Say goodbye. Oh my God, my eyebrows. Ah! Oh! Look at that. 1A. pretty awesome view. Now this is on the GoPro. I have no clue where I'm pretty sure I'm in shot. You know I put it on like the widest angle you can get. Hope the microphone's all right. Don't get mad at me if it isn't. Uh, this is the place we didn't get a video of it when we came and had to rescue the guy. <sighs> ah, lots of little sea flies, sorry. We had to rescue the guy from the Coast Guard. This is where we were. So this is the bit the guy tried to walk along. You can see the moss. I just tried. I was tempted to cycle down that slope. It, I mean, in this view, it doesn't look very steep at all, but it is, yeah, it's pretty steep. This reminds me of Bali, actually. <laughs> you go halfway around the world and, and cool beaches are right on your doorstep anyway. Yeah, I was very reluctant to leave the house, but I am extremely glad I did. My bum's all wet. Oh, it is a good thing I have mountain bike bike shoes on. Here you are. This is where that guy got stuck with his daughter and his dog. Yeah. Woo. Okay, time to get down.
Hiya. I'm back. I've got to get on with editing. What am I doing? I don't Tell know. me. It's having a wild Saturday night. I'm going to play some games. <gasps> really? <laughs> watch a movie. I'm going to like do a race against time to try and get this edited so that I can watch more Outlander. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. I do have little bits to do. So well, maybe I can do it's them. It's Saturday evening. I don't think you need to be doing things. No, okay then. <laughs> games it is. I'm going to zoom in as far as I can. I'm very tired, but the video is nearly edited. I've finished the last two blog posts. Oh no, there's one more blog post I had to tweak and finish. And we're ready to go, I think, tomorrow. Because the website will be up now, go check it out, we'll link it below. Let us know your feedback. Because um, obviously there's probably gonna be, I don't know, well, I hope there isn't too many, but there might be like little mistakes or typos or things that you wanna see that aren't there. So let me know, because I'd really appreciate it. Really, really so much. Well, we're only two people, so there's probably things we've forgotten or done wrong, so. Play around with it and be my little, what do you call it, guinea pigs. Little elves. Little elves to what? help me see what's wrong. If there isn't, I hope, hopefully you're all gonna say, no, there's nothing wrong. And leave some comments. Can you comment on it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Leave some comments on your, like, on any blog post that you like the look of, or any recipes you're gonna try, or you've tried. I'm gonna leave some really mean comments <laughs> from Anonymous. There's so much content on there, it's ridiculous. Like I've put all the content, all the recipes, and all the videos that are relevant of 2018. So there's so much stuff on there already. So yeah. Yay! I'm gonna go to bed now though because my eyes, I can barely keep them open. Even when the sky comes falling. Ooh. Oh dear, don't do that again. <laughs> All right, I'm off to bed too. Boy, I love this lens. <laughs> Thank you.